What's going on guys? So I am out here at the Forest River Expo. This is a dealer event that takes place once a year in Elkhart, Indiana. And basically this is where the dealers go to pick out the inventory, the products, and the lines that they want to carry for the year 2024, right? This is the latest and greatest for next year and you're seeing a sneak peek of it right now. Yeah, what's behind him is super special. This thing is so, is it a prototype or is it actually going to go into production? This is, a, this is the first production piece and we call it a proof of concept. And I'm going to walk you through what that proof of concept looks like. Uh, for the RV suite. Yep, so check this thing out. I'm gonna walk around it real quick so you can see this has, it, it kind of screams destination and park, but at the same time it doesn't because you're doing things differently than I've even seen on destination or park. It looks more like a, a mini cabin. Absolutely. Really. So yeah, show us what we're looking at. But before we do that, let's talk numbers. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so I have Cody with me. He is with the Ibex division, right. right? And is this your baby? It's a team effort, but yes, it's a concept that uh, this team has brought together in 2023. And um, as you can see, it's, it's come together pretty nice and a lot of unique features that you haven't seen out there yet in a, a couple of great customer solutions that I think people are really gonna love. Yep, and this is the RVS1, is that the model of this? The model is RVS1, that stands for RV Suite 1, and as we uh, develop the layouts, they'll consecutively go up. Okay, uh, let's talk weight. What's the dry weight on this unit? So as it sits here, the RV Suite 1 weighs 6,800 pounds. Uh, it's not it, too heavy. Yeah. It does feature Asdell aluminum construction. Uh, okay. One of our biggest advantages is an R12 insulation value. So R12, wow. A, so a normal, uh, you know, laminate lightweight piece would be R6, R7, somewhere in there. Yeah. So be it, being able to double that is a, is a big advantage for that shoulder season camping, mm -hmm. camping later mm -hmm. into the fall and earlier into the spring. Now, how do you achieve that? Is it like a thicker sidewall? Is it a batted insulation versus foam? What are you using to achieve that insulation value? S so. Um, one of the things that we use is Asdell on the inside okay. and outside of the unit. But and the Asdell other, has an R factor, which is nice. That's right. And then uh, the big thing that we've applied here uh, in a lamination process is an astrofoil that's been laminated okay. into the sidewall. Okay, so they're using a radiant barrier along with Asdell inside and outside over foam. Absolutely. Foam block construction on aluminum studs. Absolutely. Very, very cool. So. Um, I, I got to ask this question. Well, you, well, first of all, let me get back to numbers. You said about 2,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity. Yep. So we're probably going to be right under, right around eight to 9,000 pounds GBWR, I'm imagining. Right. Uh, three quarter ton towable. I would not put this behind a half ton truck, um, mainly because of the tongue weight. You're going to add a lot of weight to a truck, people, supplies, hitch, all that other stuff. Would you kind of agree? I, I would. I would. We've set the tongue weight up. T typically, we try to stay about 10%. This one's 12 to 14%, and I'll show you a really cool feature on the back that might help offset some of that tongue weight for generator storage, e-bike storage, maybe even dirt bike or motorcycle storage on our sun deck in the back. So Very cool. I would agree three quarter ton truck all day, but you know, at 6,800 pounds with some of the residential features that this unit has, you still got, you know, a very compact piece. Oh that yeah, has, uh, yeah. You know, no, and, and for me, towing safety is, is probably the paramount thing I talk about on my channel. So ideal towing scenario, three-quarter ton truck, gives you that firm suspension you're looking for too. Yep. So you don't get that porpoising and that, that movement, that half-ton truck. You know, half-ton trucks are made for comfort now. Right. They're not necessarily made for super towing, even though they, they, they're great, but for this three-quarter ton. So we're going to look at the sun deck first because I think that's a great starting point on this unit. Even though we have this beautiful sliding door here, again, it kind of screams destination and park at the same time. But my question for you is, who are you targeting with this? When somebody goes out to a dealership lot and they're looking at all the floor plans, when they see this, they're likely to have never seen something like this ever. Right. So they have to start thinking in their mind, this is cool, it's unique, but is this for us? So who are you targeting with this floor plan? That's a good question. I think, you know, our anybody who knows our Ibex and No Boundaries brands knows that we are dedicated to serving the outdoor enthusiast. Um, our current lineup of products feature the Curt Independent Suspension System, which are made to climb and go in places mm -hmm. where not very many travel trailers can go. We've taken those resources from some of that suspension equipment and running gear and applied it in a different way here for our outdoor enthusiasts mm -hmm. that may not need to travel every night and, and go from place to place. So this okay. is designed to be, you know, maybe more at the base of the mountain. Yeah, kind of a static your, where you put it in front of something beautiful your base and you kind of leave right. it there. Yep. That's right. So, you know, on all of our products, we always try to bring to market, how do we bring the outside inside or the inside outside? And here you can see 
you know, we've got our exclusive sun deck on the outside. Um, with a cover. With yeah. A, with a, an overhang on the back. So this is perfect in, in a static situation. You've got place for a couple of lawn chairs or hanging out outside. Imagine this backed up to the base of the mountain in the wintertime. You've got a warming hut inside, I'll show you. You yeah. can line your skis up out here. Or the beach. Um, I mean, just, man, a drivable beach like where I'm at, South Padre Island. Just back this thing right up to the beach. And you almost have like this infinity view. Absolutely. Super, I like super that. cool. I like that. So then when, when you're in motion, you'll notice that we have these D-rings, these tie downs here. So it's perfect for putting a large generator or dirt bikes or e-bikes, yep. anything you want to store there. So we talked a little bit about it at the beginning, offsetting that tongue yeah. weight, right? So like, like you do on a toy hauler, you would add a little bit more tongue weight to anticipate extra cargo. Um, and you know, same thing here. We've got this is built into the frame of the unit, so basically, it's not an add on storage piece. It's uh, oh, so exactly. the I beam extends all the way back to support exactly. it. Very exactly. cool. So What's the weight rating back here? Do you know? We're gonna we're gonna uh, limit this at 500 pounds. Okay, it isn't necessarily because of the static weight rating, but just because, because we don't want to offset the, yep, tongue the weight cantilever too much. effect. Yeah. Um, so for me, mountain bikes, maybe the kids' bikes, e bikes, things like that, you know, because that's if you're bringing a family with you, that's really the idea circumstances that you can bring all the toys that you're going to want to play with when you're out with the family Absolutely. now i love what you've done back here so this feels like like a true to life outdoor perfect environment to cook you have your patio chairs right over here on the deck you have mom or dad cooking out here on the stove throwing some hamburgers down some hot dogs and steaks and you're just simply handing them up it feels like if you have a little fire right here it's just the perfect warm environment and that's Absolutely. the first thing that struck me when i saw this floor plan and what's what's so cool about this unit is although that it has some of these you know residential style features it's still easy to pack up and move and i'll show you kind of how this hitch kitchen works um you know but in a matter of seconds basically you can have this thing in a stored environment so that you can basically clasp it into the hitch and actually you don't have to remove anything except this table and uh you know this this latch system will allow you to drive down the road with the grill still attached that's well and it comes with this whole system back here this is one of the two options that okay. you can choose okay um you know this is worth about 1500 bucks so definitely if you're interested in the rv suite the outside kitchen is is one of the two great add-on pieces yep and in some cases you may not want this so it's good that it's optional somebody may have their own barbecue that right. maybe they've always carried around in the the basement of their rv so they just want to have their own but if you want this i mean check this out you have this really cool hardwood cutting board prep surface and then you have your barbecue grill right here and then you have this beautiful little patio area the sun deck right here to be able to to just hand stuff over i i love this this is super cool um you're going to get a best in show sticker from me that's super cool and awesome. i know to some people that may not mean a lot but it, it it's actually a big deal because it's units that i've identified as being kind of game changing and unique so right. very very cool let's check out the inside can't wait to show you so All i'll right. take you in through the secondary entrance here okay that's cool this would be my primary entrance i'm pretty sure <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna squeeze in first. I love the fact that I can already tell there's no slides. Absolutely. That is really cool. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna spin around here. We got an AC running, cause it's getting warm outside. Okay, so now we're inside. This is super cool and there's some stuff that'll surprise you in here. We're not gonna go over it yet, but uh, you wanted to give me a quick walkthrough. So I'll give you a quick walkthrough starting from back to front. We just came in off the sun deck and you're in this, um, it's our master suite, but it's also the flex space, okay? We call it flex space because not only is it your dinette area, it comes with two bar stools, you've got a stand-up desk area with a ton of charging ports, you can see 110 volts and USBs oh, on yeah. both sides, uh, but what's really cool is you've got this built-in cabinet system, I can't wait to show you the bed, but let me show you a couple of the other features inside here. Lead the way, my friend. Um, so you'll notice in this flex space you've got nice solid hardwood doors, Everywhere you look, we've got giant windows with oh. MCD blackout shades. Um, but let me show you what really sets this unit apart. We call this interior, uh, this is botanic pine. You'll notice we've got this rich green color with our champagne poles, solid surface countertops. Oh yeah. One of the beauties of this unit is it's completely LP free. So there is no LP in the whole unit. The, the heating system, the induction oh, induction top, um, and even your hot water heater all run on electric only. It is a 50 amp service unit, so it's just plug and play. Is there solar on this unit? 
This one comes with a solar prep. Okay. Um, but we think a lot of our consumers will be plugged into 50 amp service. You know, two air conditioner standard, the induction cooktop. You know, so the juice factor is going to take some juice. Okay. Another question for you: Is there? And I know the answer is probably no, but I'm going to throw the idea out. I believe for something like this, it would be great to have like a Cummins own an option. That would be awesome. A generator that option. Be because awesome. for me, taking this out to the beach, not having 50 amp connection, it would just be amazing to be able to self-power this thing. Keep, take it out to a certain site. I mean, you can throw enough solar on here to probably do that, but then you're talking another 50 grand worth of solar. Right. But uh, own in generator, something like that, that can at least run your ACs, do things like that. That would be a really cool option, I think. That's great. And it'd be, it'd be a different different for something like this. You typically wouldn't see it in an RV like this. You typically see it in toy haulers. But I think it would, this because of what it's set up to do and where you could put this, having that feature I think would be a big standout feature. I think that's great. Just don't ask us for any royalties if we end up in that. Okay? Don't eat it, man. Don't eat it. But, you know, it might be cool. It might fit on that sun deck back there. If we, yeah. You know, put the put the generator on the sun deck, plug it in right to the side of the unit. Yep. So that might be a cool Absolutely. Feature. A couple other things in the kitchen you can see are uh, open shelving with the live edge wood. You know, again, set up to be sitting still. We've got great camper-friendly little things like coffee mug hooks, and you've got your towel rod hanger there. Uh, the internal audio system all comes from this uh, Klipsch audio. We've got a partnership with Klipsch. Uh, so Bluetooth audio you can take with you. Check out how cool this ice box I is. I love these retro this refrigerators. This is a 12 cubic foot ice box. You're not going to see anything like this in any RV. Just one more thing that kind of sets this unit apart. Real but quick, check. is this 110 or is this 12 volt? Um, this is 110. Volt. Okay, okay. So it's residential. Uh, residential size and a residential plug-in. And then check this out. You've got your dual vessel sinks. Again, MCD blackout shades. But you've got this luxury, we call it the luxury lavatory. You know, it feels like you're in a spa-like environment. A full-size one-piece shower with a waterfall column coming down. I mean, um, you know, it just it really yeah. sets it apart. A residential size uh, porcelain toilet. And then check this out. A unit 6,800 pounds with a optional washer and dryer, a ton of pantry and storage Adjustable space, too. Adjustable shelves, check this out. Even a light up, that's a closet yeah. rod actually. So you bring that shelf down and you got that. Uh, oh, I love how you have the illuminated batten on. strips as well. Yeah, and you know, one one of the other cool features I'll show you, um, you know, we do have this, we call it horizon lighting. You know, it, no more of these little pucks that are everywhere. You've got this dimmable lighting yeah. system and it's all voice activated. So I'll step out into the living room here and I'll show you. Um, so imagine you're coming home from a long day of skiing or at the beach and you come in, you say, hey, Power Pro, I'd like to relax. Relaxation mood is set. And basically oh, that is cool. it dims the lights. You know, it, it can uh, control some of the interior features. You've got this beautiful mood lighting underneath the live edge. Um, and then we, when you're ready uh, to come home, um, or, or you know, come home for the evening, hey, Power Pro. Good night. Sleep well, RV sweet. So oh, that is the cool, first yeah. voice-activated controlled RV. Of course, you've got this beautiful, uh, this beautiful custom-made sofa in here. Yeah, it's like a chase. It's really, really cool. Now, so, is that just storage underneath it, or just convert into a bed? This is one of the key things I want to show you, and. You know, this proof of concept, again, in the RV suite, this first RV suite, as you mentioned, has no slide out, so we wanted to try to make things as compact as we can. Let me show you the cool feature that this Chase Lounge has. Sure. Lau, you want to show us that? So this is pretty cool. It's like, how do we put, you know, enough capacity for two people to sit comfortably Oh, that is cool. In a unit that can be tucked away. That is awesome. No, that is really, really nice. Isn't that cool? Yep. And you know what? Even if you... This is definitely more of a couple's coach kind of thing, yes. but if you have a small child, that looks like a pretty comfortable sleeping spot. Absolutely. So. Here, let me turn the lights back on. Hey, Power Pro. I'm home. Welcome back, RV Suite. So... You know, with the Chase Lounge in this setup, it's a perfect place for two people to hang out in the evening. Uh, we Some of our future layouts will contain bunks for, uh, you know, for more of a family style setup. This one is set up for more of uh, two people. Let me show you this invisible king suite in the back. It is awesome. Lead the way. All right, so I'm gonna step up here because 
We're about to see some magic. And I kind of have an idea what's about to happen, but he's about to confirm it with me, I think. Oh, that is cool. So it's a Murphy bed. Very nice. And it's a good size room. Even when it's down, you still got a lot of space. By the way, you're doing a great job, man. Thank you. Uh, no problem. So one thing that sets this apart is this is a full king size bed. Normally a Murphy bed would break in the center, right? You have a break in the mattress, it kind of, you know, you can feel it on your back. This one is nice and solid. You've got a full size headboard, built in window up top. But I'm telling you, this bed, when you lay on it, is beautiful and comfortable, very high end mattress. And again, a king size bed in a unit with no slide. I love the nightstands you put on the side, great spot. It looks like you could fit a CPAP machine, no problem at all. You got USB 110 power there. And again, there's so much power out here and that just shows that you understand your buyer. You understand customers. Having to search for a power port in today's era just shouldn't be a thing you worry about. And this is super cool. The window is absolutely huge. Um, I, this is awesome. I mean, I'm really, really digging this. And I came out here yesterday when nobody was here and I saw it and I really wanted to get into it, but the doors were locked. So really glad that uh, you were able to give me this tour. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, I got to ask you, uh, MSRP, what can someone expect to see from an MSRP perspective for something like this? For the RV Suite 1, the price is going to be uh, somewhere around the forty-five dollars to $50,000 mark. And that's MSRP? Yeah. That's, wow. That's Which means we all know price. nobody sells anything for MSRP, so right. you're probably going to get an even better deal on something like this. Absolutely. So check these out. Late fall, early spring, you're going to see RV Suites all over North America. That is absolutely awesome. And what dealer? Does it have to be a Nobo dealer or will it be at any other type of dealer? That's a great question. So so both Ibex and No Boundaries, you'll see subtle differences between the two, will all offer RV Suite back. That is awesome. Well, again, thank you so much for your tour. This is absolutely amazing. You definitely win one of my top pick stickers. So uh, if you see one of these or this specific unit has a sticker, it's the one we toured. Hey, thanks again, man. appreciate thank your help. You. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.